In this case, we have two lesions that are located in a juxtacortical distribution at the gray-white matter interface in the left cerebellar hemisphere and the right temporal lobe. There is extensive surrounding vasogenic edema and avid enhancement of the lesions. The lesions are also dark on the T2 weighted images. The patient had a known history of colon adenocarcinoma, and this is a classic appearance for intracranial metastatic disease in this clinical setting. The patient had a hemicolectomy in 2010 and presented with gradual onset of new headaches. Intracranial metastases are usually well circumscribed as in this case and can be solitary in up to half of cases. They typically occur in the cerebral hemispheres, less frequently involving the cerebellum, and occasionally seen in the basal ganglia or brainstem. Intrinsically, T2 dark lesions may be hemorrhagic, calcified, or hypercellular, in which case restricted diffusion may be present. Intrinsically, T1 bright lesions may be related to hemorrhage or occasionally melanin in the setting of metastatic melanoma. The classic hemorrhagic brain metastases are choriocarcinoma, thyroid cancer, melanoma, and renal cell carcinoma.